Welcome to Grapple FK, everyone. We are covering Alexander Volkov against Walt Harris on the main card of Khabib v. Justin. So it's Drago versus the big ticket. Uh, records 31 and 8 for Alexander, 13 and 8 for Walt Harris, Russia, United States. Volkov is two inches taller, three inch reach advantage. I thought he'd be more than that to that, than that to be honest. Three inches. Well, Walt Harris is, is a very big boy as well. He's six five. Yeah, he's pretty big, isn't he? Um, leg reach, yeah, it's halfness. Yeah, not too. Uh, so Walt Harris is um, Walt Harris is a very explosive fighter, mainly in the first and the second rounds. One hundred percent TKOs, KOs. However, he has been KO'd a few times himself. Um, is he coming off a loss? Am I correct in saying that he lost to over him, right? Recent He's coming off a loss. Was that his latest fight against uh, Overeem? Let's have a look. Yeah. So I know he got a couple of wins yeah. against uh, Spivak and. Uh... Yeah, so he beat Spivak and Olenek. Yeah. Um Then he lost to Overeem. Then he lost to Overeem. Yeah. yeah. Olenek is pretty ancient. Um, yeah. So uh, Volkov's got more of a. A mixture. He's, he's mainly KOs and TKOs. I mean, this is heavyweight. It will mainly be TKOs and KOs. Um, I believe Volkov is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. Yeah. Um, his. I mean, he doesn't really doesn't really use his grappling much, but it looks decent. Um, he did get dominated by Curtis Blades in his most recent fight, but Curtis Blades is probably the best wrestler in the heavyweight division. Um. Significant strikes. Uh, Volkov lands a lot of volume, and his defense is pretty good as well. Uh, Walt Harris less so, but Walt Harris has got serious KO power. Um, and then yeah, the grappling stats mainly favor Volkov. Uh, but yeah, what are your um, what are your initial thoughts on this, Andrew? Well, offline, I I said there wasn't too much um, to say about this. Um, but when you look into it, there are actually some interesting striking dynamics going on here. As yeah. you mentioned, Walt Harris is explosive. Not just explosive, he is enormously explosive. And yeah. in certain fights, it is it is frightening. You know, how quickly yeah. he, how quickly he's throwing those combinations, the the speed at which he closes the gap, it looks phenomenal. I mean the the early finish of uh, Alexei Olenek was spectacular. Uh, yep. The finish of Sergei Spivak was excellent, and when he when he does explode and he does connect, it's it's it's, it's amazing. Yeah, but as you said, he's a first round fighter primarily. If he doesn't get that finish early, you know he, he tends to lose the fight. I, th I think any any fight that's gone to decision, he he's lost, I believe. And that yeah, he doesn't enough volume. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You know, so he loses that explosivity, uh, which is you know fully understandable. Um, on the on the other hand, you've got Volkov, who's who's an interesting striker. I mean, I wouldn't say his boxing is particularly sophisticated, but he lands a lot. He lands he lands the jab clean and, and with precision. He occasionally throws nice combinations. He doesn't move his head a lot. Um, he doesn't use a whole load of footwork that I've seen. Uh, he does have really nice kicks, very effective teeps or front kicks to the midsection. Um, and one thing I really like about him is that you know he's got a karate background, and apparently if yeah, you're Russian, yeah. apparently if you're Russian and you do karate, karate is actually not shit. He's got these amazing. <laughs> so as we know, karate is mostly bullshit. You know, because the I Americans think any martial it. art in Russia is not shit. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Even karate, because you know, Americans basically killed karate in the 1980s and made it a joke. Yeah, it got watered down completely. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, the, the, so Volkov is a karate practitioner and a kickboxing practitioner, and you really see the karate in his fights. Like he will counter punches with kicks, and he will counter kicks with kicks. Yeah, and I think his striking is pretty decent. I, I like I like the kicks. Yeah, he's got such dexterity in that lead leg. Like he'll just yeah. flick it up and just you know kick you in the face really quickly. Like there's no telegraphing whatsoever. So that's really nice. Um, 
So there's an interesting dynamic on the one hand, you've got that massive explosivity versus somebody who fights at range, who will try and you know pick you off from the outside. Classic striking matchup, classic uh, difference in styles. So the, the question is, um, yeah, who's going to come out better? And so it's a question of, can Volkov keep uh, Walt Harris at bay? And can Walt Harris close that distance? That's exactly what it is. Um, I saw some footage of Walt Harris on, on, on the beach drinking some coconut water with a few fighters and he ran into the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. And Walt Harris looked very, very trim. Looked very trim. Okay. Um, uh, so he looks in good shape and he's got he's got out there early, which is good to see because obviously, you know, for, for, the, for the Russian fighters and for the European fighters... It's a lot easier to get over there. The Americans are traveling 15, 16 hours in some cases. Mm -hmm. um, and I, they're finding it hard to adjust. But I think he's got out there early and he's he's he's, uh, he's adjusted pretty well. Um, but I think that is the best summary of the fight. It's someone who has phenomenal KO power and um, for, for his size, serious ability to move quickly. Um, against someone who is a good striker, uh, decent on the ground as well, and who's going to fight at range, and who has got a better record in the UFC. He's five and two. Um, he lost to Derek Lewis, but he was piecing Derek Lewis up until he got caught at the very end, which is, I think is quite unlucky. Um, yeah, to, to Volkov's credit there, I think he broke Derek Lewis's orbital bone. Yeah, he did. I think it was in round one or two. I mean, he was piecing him up in that fight. Yeah. I, I remember I mean, watching it thinking... You've got to hit someone really hard to break their orbital bone. Yeah, he's, and he's got he's got quite a few KOs on his record. Um, KO'd Wedum. That's a great win. KO'd Stefan Struve. And then he got decisions over Roy Nelson and Timothy Johnson. Unanimous decision over Greg Hardy. Um, Derek Lewis KO'd him, but I mean, he was winning that fight until that point, and Derek Lewis can KO anyone pretty much. Uh, if he lands clean, um, and against Curtis Blades, he just he just <laughs> it's an odd thing to say about a Russian, but he just doesn't have the wrestling. Yeah, very odd thing to say about a Russian. Yeah. Uh, and you can you know you can see the takedown stats here: fourteen takedowns to one. Um, I'm surprised Volkov even got a takedown, to be honest, against Blades. But Blades is a good wrestler, to be to be fair. Yeah, Blades is, a, Blades is the best wrestler in the heavyweight division, I think. Yeah. Um, so, you know, let, that's a that's a tough fight for anyone, uh, apart from Ngannou, who just seems to fuck Blades up all the time. But, yeah, I'm kind of, o overall, assessing the information, I'm kind of leaning more towards Volkov. Um just because he's got more experience, I think he's got a more disciplined fighting style, and he can go he can go the distance. Yeah, let me ask you a question. What do you think about Volkov's hand speed? I I I don't know because it's a weird one. I think it's decent for heavyweight. If you look at the stats, it would suggest that he's got decent hand speed because he's landing right. He's landing a lot. Yeah. Time. But when you look, when I saw the, his fight against Greg Hardy, uh, Greg Hardy looked to be just quicker. Um, and I do wonder, yeah, just Volkov doesn't look particularly fast. I think maybe he's landing that volume because he's on the outside, he's seeing the opportunities. And you know, yeah, he jabs quite a lot, yeah. Just a very straight jab. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm confused about that. He, to me, he just looks slow, but then the stats reveal that maybe he isn't slow because he's landing so much. Yeah, I don't think he's slow, but I don't think he's particularly fast either compared to some of the heavyweights. But yeah, but you know that this. I mean, hand speed can make or break a fight. Um, could make or break a fight. Well, hand speed at heavyweight could 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 mean um, it's two sides of a coin at heavyweight. If Walt Harris goes out there with his hand speed, with his explosivity, he could KO him in round one, or he could completely blow his load if he misses the shots and tire yeah. himself out. 
and then and and then Alexander Volkov could just pick him off for the next three rounds and win a unanimous decision. So, yeah, I mean, um, what, what Harris does, does like to counter. Um, Walt Harris is not the kind of guy who's going to fight from the outside. You know, he he, need, he needs to engage. And I'm just thinking in those kind of exchanges, Walt Harris might. I'm pretty certain he's going to have the speed advantage. Yeah, it's possible he could KO him early, um, and because 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 of that possibility, there's I'm I don't like putting heavyweight fights in the accumulator anyway, but I'm definitely not betting on this. Um, but I'm yeah. just slightly leaning more towards Volkov because it's, uh, he, he's got a better record in the UFC. Um, he got unlucky against Derek Lewis. I mean, Derek Lewis, fair enough, he KO'd him badly. But I mean, look at the stats. He outstruck him 121 to 39. Um, yeah. And if you look at his fights, he doesn't really get KO'd in round one or two. Um, so, and, and that's what Walt Harris does. He KOs people mainly in round one, sometimes in round two. I think most likely Volkov will weather the storm in round one and then just pick him off. Yeah. So, the, I'm unclear as to how these two are going to interact. Because typically Volkov seems to want to push the pace. He sort of naturally walks forward, even though he's the bigger guy. Uh, he will walk forward. Um, Walt Harris seems to like people coming to him. Um, but I'm, I'm afraid that if Walt Harris comes out strong, Volkov is going to maintain that distance and fight from range. And then Walt Harris isn't going to get a look in because he won't be able to close that gap. Um, yeah. So I, th I think for Walt Harris to win, Volkov is going to have to exchange have have to stand in front of him and exchange. I just don't know if he's going to do that. I don't think he'll do that against Walt Harris. Yeah, because in the in that's, Walt Harris's fight, a very fight, stupid maneuver. I have a very stupid game plan if he does that. Yeah, because in the Andrei Olovsky fight, Andrei Olovsky was exchanging in the first round, and Walt Harris was firing off shots, and then Andrei Olovsky kept his distance, and then Walt Harris loses the fight. Um, so that's yeah, my I mean, concern for, yeah. for Walt Harris. Yeah, and then obviously, you know, the concern for Volkov is he's not the quickest heavyweight in the world, and Walt Harris is particularly dangerous in round one. Um, but I think given his experience overall, I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards Volkov 60-40 here. But I won't be betting on this. Mm. I'm just thinking, because if you know Kelvin Gastelum can close the gap against Israel Adesanya and smack yep. him hard and wobble him, uh, it's possible that what Harris can do this to Volkov. Yeah, it is possible. Um, it's definitely possible. But I don't know if it's probable. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd give, I'd, I'd give Harris a 40% chance of KOing him. Mm. And I think Alexander Volkov would win by probably a unanimous decision or a very late stoppage. Well, this is five rounds, right? No, it's not five rounds, is it? No, it's three. No, no, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking if this was a five-round fight, Volkov could finish him in the fourth or fifth. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's probably going to be a decision. I, I, I just look at Walt Harris's wins against Olenek and Spivak, and they're terrifying. Yeah, like, Olenek is ancient, dude. <laughs> He's had like 80 fights. Yeah, but so, he, uh, he's still beating people in the top 10. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but I mean, you know, matching him up against someone like Walt Harris, unless he can get a takedown on him early and submit him, he's not going to win. Yeah. yeah. He's, just, he's just too old. He's lost his reflexes. He's mainly a submission grappler anyway. Yeah. So that was a bad style matchup. Whereas Volkov is a decent striker overall. As you said, he doesn't have the best head movement. Um, but he is six foot seven and he keeps the range and yeah, he throws true. a lot of volume. Uh, you don't need I a mean, whole lot of head movement when you're six foot seven. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, he's 
you know, over three rounds, he's throwing 122 punches, 135 punches, 121 punches. And he doesn't have the hardest punch in the world, but when someone's six, seven is hitting you, damage will accumulate. Something will break. Something yeah, will yeah. happen. Yeah, he's yeah. not a, I wouldn't call him a knockout artist, but I think his, no. his abs are pretty heavy. Like he, he hurts you with, with, with those jabs. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's more of a stinging puncher. Um, if we look at oh. his record before the UFC, yeah, he's got he's got a few submissions here as well. But yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, round one wins as well. well he Head beat Blago even of in Bellator. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, Rene could choked him. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, I, I I just think you know he's young. He's had a lot of experience. I mean, he's had almost twice the experience that Walt Harris has had. And he's the younger man. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think to... his experience will see him through this. Yeah, I think so. The... Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but still, Walt Harris is such a huge Yeah, he's guy. terrifying. <laughs> he's terrifying, yes. He's, he's terrifying, that's the problem. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's terrifying for yeah, maybe, yeah, the first three, four minutes or something. I think mentally he wants to prove something as well, um, because of the whole situation with his stepdaughter getting murdered and so on before the Overeem fight. Over oh, right, yeah. mentally there, I think now he's probably really going to go for this. Did they find out who murdered the uh, the stepdaughter? I, I I'm not I'm not sure. Because it's usually the, sure. the the stepfather. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No. Um, obviously wasn't. Uh, it was. Uh, I don't know. How do, I, how do you know? The news, fam. The news. Let's Google it. Actually, <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I remember anything, reading. By the way, I remember reading about it. it as a pretty disturbing news headline. Uh. She was shot after she went for the gun. What? The suspected killer of Alabama College students said he shot her after she allegedly went for a gun. The suspected killer of Alabama said she shot her after she allegedly went for the gun. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Ibrahim Yazid is accused of abducting her from the store and shooting her to death. Wow, that's fucked up. Yeah. Uh. This is the guy. Well, he's lucky Walt Harris didn't catch him. Yeah, can you imagine what Walt Harris would have done to him? Jesus Christ. That probably should be his sentence. Just Let death Walt, by beating Walt by Harris, Walt Harris. Beat, beat him to death. Yeah. Uh, Christ. Um, well, that's not good. But, yeah, I mean, he's, he, you know, that could motivate him. But I, th I think, I think Volkov's, um, I think Volkov's experienced enough to get through that first round. Yeah, probably. I, I would say so, yeah. But um, I mean, at he in heavyweight, God knows. Well, let, let's look at the the odds, Walid. Yeah, let's look at the odds. Good point. Who, who do you think is the favourite? Oh, I would I'd definitely say Volkov. A big favourite or a small favourite? Uh, I wouldn't say a big favourite, but I'd... <clears> I'd, I'd I would think he's the favourite. Okay. So Volkov is a minus one hundred and eighty-eight favourite. Okay. And, and Harris is plus a plus one fifty underdog. What's the uh, what are the odds for a Harris first round KO? Okay, Walt Harris. Walt Harris by KO is plus 210 for a first round KO. It is one second. I'll just convert this plus 350. First round KO 350. 350. Okay. 
Which isn't right. bad. I don't think that's it's not bad. It's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. Um But yeah, uh going on to official predictions, I've got Drago via unanimous decision. However, just would like to reiterate that I am not betting on this because uh I think it's too close to call. Well, it's too too close to be yeah, I, I it's confusing me. I don't yeah. I'll yeah. bet on it. Yeah. I'm gonna say Volkov unanimous decision. And I'm probably going to put him in the risky cum cum. Because I think he gets it done. I mean a part of me wants to say uh what Harris is just, just gonna knock him the fuck out with this spectacular display of power. I don't think that's going to happen. It can happen. I don't think yeah. it is going to happen. Or I think the yeah, probability of it happening is maybe 25% or something. I might bet on Walt Harris first round KO. Um, but as Walid, as you said, I think Volkov is probably smart enough to survive that first round. Yeah, I mean, dude, he's, I mean, look at that record. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's survived the first round against some big hitters before. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I think Drago would, Drago would get it done, but I'm not going to bear it. I, I don't know. I'm, I may end up thinking about the risky come come thing too, because with Islam and Uma out of this, this card's kind of looking a bit sketchy now for the uh, for the safe come come and for the risky come come. So mm-hmm. um, I need to have an, another overall look at the card. But yeah, in terms of this fight, I've got Volkov unanimous decision. Yeah, at minus one hundred eighty-eight. I don't think those odds are bad for for Volkov for the risky come come. No, bear, bear in mind this is the risky come come. You know, we don't always expect to win the risky come come. Yeah, exactly. You know, the safe come come. We're we're a lot. We're we're right a lot a lot of the time. But the risky come come. There's a reason why it's called the risky come come. So uh, it's risky, and it's a come come. Yeah, exactly, and it's a come come. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yep, that's it, folks. And in terms of my backup date, it's still fucked. Um, when you seen the doctor with? Need- I don't know. I just hope. I just, I, I don't know. Whenever I go to the doctor, they, they, they tell me to take my trousers off for some reason. I'm not sure why. Well, I go I in complaining of flu symptoms and just t- tell me to take my trousers off. It's just one of those things. Well, you know, uh, you've got a lot to show in the war lead. <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't. Actually, I do. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Python I'm blessed. Family blessed i'm blessed yeah. you hang low as they say <laughs> down to the knees fam down to the knees yeah. anyway we'll that was very off topic uh everyone thank you for watching and um uh leave some comments if you want uh we've got volkov but if you disagree let us know take care and uh, stay tuned for more picks bye